It's official. Gervonta Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko is finally in the works, and this matchup has sparked an interesting conversation. Will Loma be able to do the impossible by defeating Tank Davis? Lomachenko is riding high after a monumental victory over the former unified world champion, George Cambosos Jr., who got battered by Loma for 11 straight rounds before crashing down to the canvas. But the story doesn't end there. Enter Gervonta Davis, the powerhouse who just obliterated the undefeated pro Frank Martin and made it look like a walk in the park. Frank Martin got hit by a left hook from hell. Both fighters have what it takes to beat the other. This much anticipated matchup has been attracting reactions from boxing professionals, including the legend himself, Floyd Money Mayweather. Mayweather loves being the center of attention. I mean, the guy sticks his nose into every matter, but this time it's different. Mayweather's comments on this fight have sent shockwaves through the boxing community. Money Mayweather issued a stern warning to Gervonta Davis going into this fight. Yep, you heard that right. Even the king of the jungle needs to be warned sometimes. Yep. What could have prompted such a statement from the undefeated legend himself? Is there something he sees in Lomachenko that others have missed? Or is he merely trying to play mind games with Gervonta? It's all up in the air. But what's for certain is that Gervonta Tank Davis will be stepping into the ring with Loma next. You don't have to take my word for it. Tank Davis's brother confirmed this news himself. What's next after Frank? This mega fight will be seeing the light of day, and according to Floyd, the fight only goes one way. This is going to sound surprising, but Mayweather believes Loma is finally going to make Tank taste the bitterness of a loss. He said it himself during a recent interview. Loma poses a great threat to Gervonta, and the wise thing right now for Gervonta is to fight anyone but Loma, stated Floyd to TMZ reporters. This spices up things for sure. Knowing how Floyd is, he could just be saying this to try to get to Tank's head. Now, if you're a true boxing fan, you'd know the rivalry between these two guys goes a long way back. These two guys cannot stand the sight of each other, and it shows. Money. Mayweather loves to play mind games, especially when it comes to Tank. Just days before Tank's bout with Frank, Floyd stirred the pot by posting on Instagram that the fight was canceled. If that doesn't strike you as odd, I don't know what will. And to top it all off, Floyd was even giving tips to Frank Martin on how to stop Gervonta Davis. But our boy Tank didn't let any of it phase him. He stepped into the ring and delivered a masterclass performance, proving once again why he's one of the best. You know, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. But I knew for sure that wasn't going to be enough to beat me. It's cool. It's, it's all right. You know? I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, he's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll pitch you in bad situations. Their beef never ends, and now more people are getting involved in the heat. Trainer of Gervonta Davis, Calvin Ford also took some digs at Floyd, and it's something you can't afford to miss. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we see and what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to be built itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said this is the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. Cause they can't stand it, you know. Calm is the, I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know, but our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. But get this. What if Floyd is actually trying to help Tank? I know that sounds strange, but with Floyd, there's no telling what he's up to. Loma has only improved since his controversial loss to Devin Haney, a fight many believe should have gone in Loma's favor. But hey, Haney was the face of boxing, so Loma didn't stand a chance of winning on points. If Lomachenko can almost dismantle Haney's career, he's definitely capable of doing the same to Gervonta. 
And to add to that, Loma is already hitting the gym again and he looks sharp. The stakes have never been higher, and with Floyd's mind games in the mix, this fight is going to be one epic roller coaster. Who knows what twists and turns await in this epic showdown? And not to mention Floyd's always preaching about how he's there for Davis. So this could be one of those moments, or it could be revenge time. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful, to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. And let's take a look at what some of the other pros are saying and whether they agree or disagree with Floyd Mayweather. For instance, famous boxer Raleigh Romero totally disagrees with Floyd. He believes Tank is going to catch a body when he steps into the ring with Loma. Just take a look at what he said. Lomachenko will come to win the fight against I'm, Javante. I'm not a Lomachenko, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really not a homosexual, man. You, you, you I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't support that shit. I, I really don't support that shit, man. I'm not a homosexual, man. So in this case, Javante gets that. Oh no, he'll murder him. Just purely off of just a better fighter. But right, he'll murder him. Does that I'm, fight? I, I'm not a homosexual, <laughs> man. And to contrary belief. Everyone that, that everyone, everyone fucking believes otherwise, Devin Haney fucking beat Lomachenko too, because Lomachenko don't fucking try to win at the end of the damn fight ever. Yeah. Interesting choice of words there by Raleigh. The guy can crack a joke just like Tank cracked his head open in the ring. Moving forward, Shakur Stevenson, another great name in the fight industry, has given Jervante Davis the edge over the Ukrainian boxer. Um, it just depends on which Lomachenko show up. I I honestly can't see him just knocking Lomachenko out. I think Lomachenko is uh, defensively sound, uh, you know, tricks. And, like, the skill level that Lomachenko is on uh, is a lot better than what Frank Martin is. So no disrespect to Frank Martin, but it's just the experience level that Lomachenko has. So, um, nah, I, I don't see that fight looking like that, but I can see uh, Tank got the edge on his younger, fresher, and uh, powerful. So. He got the edge for sure, but I don't see it being like no whitewash. Um, and it, it also depends on what Lomachenko got left in the tank because a lot of people watched that last fight and felt like he looked super good, but like I'm like a, I pay attention and um, I thought he looked good, but I seen like he couldn't really up the pace like he wanted to. Robert Garcia also gave his two cents on how this epic matchup goes down. He too believes Tank's power will be too much of a problem for Loma to overcome. At this age, at this point of his career, can Lomachenko beat a, a Gervonta? I think five or six years ago, I would pick Lomachenko right away. Right now, it might be too hard to. I, th I, th I think you know, at, at his age uh, and uh, his size also, because he's not that big of a lightweight. I think I think I'd have to I'd, I'd have to favor. Tank, his power, you know, his is is just unbelievable. But uh, but Loma's got great skills, man. Loma's the one that that will not be afraid of him. Loma's the one that will be in great shape. So if he fights smart and 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 knows how to win the first few rounds and then and then fight smart the the rest of the fights, the rest of the rounds, then there's a chance he could pull it off. You know, Loma's great. He's a very smart man. But I just think Tank's power is going to be too much. On the other hand, Tim Bradley agrees with Floyd as he believes Loma has what it takes to finally put an end to the Gervonta Davis hype train. A lot of people are saying like, oh, they waited for him to get to this age. Yeah, yeah, that's facts. That the people are not, I mean, come on, man. These fans are not stupid, man. Loma still sleeping at this age is a bad man. He, he, he deserves respect. And you know, you're gonna have the recency bias and everybody will say, oh, Tanks will knock him out, take him out. 
Tank gonna have to knock him out. He gonna have to. Okay, if, if Loma can avoid those big shots, we can win the fight, bro. I wouldn't count Loma out. Nah, hell nah, man. I say 50-50. Zab Judah, a former boxer, didn't hesitate at all before picking Gervonta Davis to sweep the floor with Loma. Tank or Loma Shanko? I mean, I, I gotta go with the, I gotta go with the punching power. I gotta go with the punching power. I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I This fight is a huge opportunity for Loma to showcase to the world who he truly is as a fighter. But for Gervonta Davis, a win over Loma proves nothing. It's a lose-lose situation for Tank because if he loses, the chant will be he lost to an old guy, and if he wins, everyone will say he beat a guy who Devin beat already. So this is a tough spot for Tank to be in. The risk is high, but the reward is low. However, a fight with Shakur Stevenson makes much more sense and is one that could be one for the ages. Even Floyd has said that the most talented fighter in the industry right now is Shakur. So beating him is what will crown Tank as the king of boxing. Floyd, who, when we, when you think about the fighters who are fighting now, can you give me your your one, two, three, four, and five when it comes to the the lightweight? Who you would put where? As of right now, the two guys, the biggest puncher, I feel at at the one thirty five, would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter, skillful fighter at one thirty five, would be hands down Shakur Stevens. What is it about him? Because I know he have a lot of good um, attributes, but do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he was, I mean, very exciting, very tough, and he fought everybody. Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can take him to that next level. This fight isn't just a fight with Shakur, but it's a warfare with Floyd. If Tank really wants to fire back at Mayweather and also prove he's the best in the scene, all he has to do is knock out Shakur Stevenson. Now that takes the internet by storm. However, Loma can be a tune-up fight before the epic showdown with Shakur. Tank has a lot of options, and who knows, maybe Floyd decides to jump back in the ring for one last bang. Now that would be even bigger. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.